the 2023 Wings to Fly Scholarships cohort has been selected. The 1,000 students were identified after a thorough process that ensured only the bright and most needy scholars who set the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education exams in 2022 were admitted to the program. The Wings to Fly Scholarship Program is a partnership between Equity Group Foundation and Equity Bank with additional financial support by the German government through KFW, MasterCard Foundation, USAID, UK aid, private institutions and individuals. Tugianza hii mradi kiwa wings to fly government can be able to support where the World Bank where the application World Bank what metupatia scholarship. The initiative to support disadvantaged students pursue education is geared towards positively transforming their lives and their families. But more fundamentally developing the next generation of transformative leaders. The poverty index peer wenye wako chini kulingana na makaratasi yale ambayo muliandika tuliapitia zote. The scholarship selection process started with public announcements throughout the whole country through religious organizations, local and national radio stations, social media and local administrators. The applicants after shortlisting, were then invited for interviews at appointed locations where scholars and their guardians first met the Community Scholarship Selection Board, CSSB members. Kazi tunafanya hapa ni kazi ya haki na kazi ya ukweli. Hakuna upendeleo. Bank manager hana anything to do with influencing. These forms are very available. You go to the bank, you find them free of charge. You go to the equity agents, you find them there. It is almost a three-kilometer hike up Marini Hill where Michael Kemei and his grandmother, Cheptanit Paolo, are about to receive guests. Members of the West Pocot CSSB have paid them a visit after a successful interview to secure a slot in the 2023 Wings to Fly scholarship. I used to live with my father when my second mother came. It started by, by, by not wondering me. So I, I, I came to, sit, to live with my grandmother. I scored 352. The family has only one hat that they call home. My grandmother sleep here and me, I will go to look for a place to sleep. There was a time my friends refused to open the door for me to sleep there and they were forced to, to sleep outside. I sleep in the bushes. Chapter 8, or Goko, has not been down this hill in five years. A snake bite that has since healed almost took her life. A clerical error of her date of birth on her national identity card renders her too young to access cash transfers for the aged. The stories we get from these learners, they move us and we give them by, by merit. Some of those students who are left out, personally I've taken two of them and I'm assisting them in their schooling. Mitchell Modoni hails from Matongo village, Muranga. The 14-year-old lives with her single mother who aches a living from mining sand. Mitchell has never known her father as her parents parted ways when she was still a toddler. Her mother later moved into Mitchell's great-grandmother's home. The main challenge was school fees. Since my mom sometimes couldn't get a job, so I had to be get out of school and come back home, wait until she gets some school fees, then I can go back to school. Mitchell attended Matongo Primary School, where she sat her KCPE exams to score 416 marks, emerging the third best student in Moranga County. I need the wings to fly scholarships because I really need to achieve my dreams and also in my studies. And I would also like to help my mom to get out of from this poverty. It doesn't mean that you are poor, that you can't achieve your dream. This is Kakuma, a small northern Kenya town in Turkana County. It is in this area that the sprawling Kakuma refugee camp is located. This camp has been home to Adut Manyok from South Sudan. Adut's aunt fled to Kenya when civil war broke out in her home country in 2013. She tagged along her children and her brother's children, including Adut and her five siblings. Someone who was a family friend 
told us that if we could move from that place without being killed, then we could be helped being brought to the camp. The family settled in the camp that supports refugees from different countries. I started schooling in 2015. I was poor in education, but my friends and neighbors have been telling me that school is good. So I started going with them to school. Together we came home in the evening. Then if there is no food, then we still gather around all of us and then we study to read. I was able to go to college. 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 Pate Island is a secluded island nestled 25 kilometers east of the bustling Lamu town. It is here, amidst the tranquil waters and sandy beaches, that the Community Scholarship Selection Board members sitting in Lamu set sail to find Issa Faisal's home. The 14-year-old boy has faced unimaginable challenges in life. Abandoned by his father at infancy, Isa and his siblings have had to navigate through life supported by the single mother. scholarship <laughs> equity kwanza inawalipa ina inawalipia full scholarship mpaka uniform everything going to fly tayari imshaleta mabadiliko na tutarajia mabadiliko makubwa zaidi tarajia nipate kazi au daktari to Julius Chacha from Igori County his border town of Isibanya reminds him of his father's escape leaving him to the care of a mother with no livelihood the abandonment remains a puzzle to the 16-year-old boy who scored 429 marks in KCP exams to emerge the second top candidate in Kenya. Julius chose Alliance High School and adopted prayer, hard work and discipline as drivers to get there. My mentor is a big cousin. I read his book that is Think Big and because of that he, he aspired me. He made me know that all those people who become great people must have a painful story to tell. And every painful story has an ending. I aspire them uh, to work as a doctor. And I know that Wings to Fly, from its name Wings to Fly, I will fly. Church's mother is a vendor in Isibania and is sheltered by a well-wisher. When the CSSB sitting in Megori made the home visit, they confirmed the high-performing scholar is needy. When the wings to fly forms were out, after doing my KCP, I said I will go and see. In Kibera, Anne Kawira's family has seen it all in one year. Kawira and her siblings experienced the vagaries of life in the streets while her sick mother remained hospitalized for close to a year. In 2022, January, Mama Aliza, I love when Aliza Kabonjeka, Kabonjeka Kandos. Kawira's family were thrown out of their house as rent accumulated during their mother's hospitalization. Kawira's household is always facing hunger as any money the family gets is used up by daily medication. Fourteen-year-old Nato Lochora's misery began when the family breadwinners, Lochora's brother and father, both died within months of each other. Kilicho mfanyikia baba ni mkwamba, wakati mtoto wake, aliaga ambaye alikuwa mepata kazi. Sasa huyo ndiyo alikuwa tegimi olake. Tulipo mpeleka hospitalini, akajia kule. Baada ya kukaa hizo wiki tatu, mama nae akaona kukaa peke yake, bila chenyaneza kawalisha wanawe. Ana faida duniani, so nae akaaga. 
Lachoro attended Kakuna Mixed Primary School where he was supported by teachers and well-wishers because he was bright and hard-working. I was in school, I didn't have to worry about it. I was a man who 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 was Wings to Fly is a full scholarship. So in terms of tuition and all uh, these other requirements, Wings to Fly really supports. It's a very good program, I'm telling you. The Wings to Fly program is arguably the most comprehensive secondary education scholarship that uses a most rigorous selection process to offer the most benefits to the scholars, including tuition fees, shopping, and pocket money alongside mentorship. When Wings to Fly comes in, it becomes a way of salvation to these children who would have no future and who would have gone into the drain. In some years to come, we will uh, start seeing the difference on uh, how those who went to Wings to Fly are going to take over leadership. And they will be good leaders wherever they will go, in their backgrounds. Dependa kwa shukuru equity bank. Tutafanya kazi pamoja na bank. Badae, tutakuja the 1,000 scholars were flagged off from various locations across the country to make the journey to the capital Nairobi for induction and presentation of the letters of admission to the program. We had 348 candidates whereby we came up with eight that were successful and we were pleased to do the flagging off and may God bless the scholars as they start their way to education. These scholars bring the total number of secondary school scholarships issued by Equity Group Foundation in collaboration with its partners to 48,009 beneficiaries.